Greetings from the United Nations headquarters in New York City. My name is Bela Hovi and I'm the chief of the migration section at the UN's Department of Economic and Social Affairs. It's wonderful to participate in this Global Student Summit showcase by video and I wish I could be there in person. The work that you're doing on a world on the move, migrants and refugees, is very important now more than ever. I'm impressed by the cross-cultural learning process promoted by this project based on inquiry. This is reflected in the mixed composition of the inquiry teams made up of Chinese and American students from Suzu North America High School and Wake STEM Early College High School. I was glad to read that as part of the summit, you are also raising funds for refugees in collaboration with UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency. It's good to combine talk with action. Now, before I respond to the four questions you sent me, let me clarify what we mean with the words migrants and refugees. You would be surprised by how much confusion there is around these words. It is actually quite simple. An international migrant is someone who moves from one country to another. I'm sure that some of you are living in a country that is different from the country you were born. In fact, why don't we take a quick survey? Can everyone who currently lives in or who has ever lived in another country than she or he was born raise their hand? The reason for migration can be numerous and complex. Some people move to another country to study, to work, to live with a family, to build a new life. But some people move because they must, because of war or because they would lose their life or liberty because of their religion, their race, their ethnicity or their political views. We call these people refugees. To sum up, Refugees are like other migrants because they also move to another country. However, refugees are unlike other migrants because they don't leave their country voluntarily. They are forced to move. They are no longer safe in their country of origin. Okay, let's go to question one. How would you describe the current trends in global migration? The number of international migrants has never been as high as today and it has been growing in recent years. Currently, we estimate there are about 258 million international migrants, 3.4% of the world's population. And about 10% of these 258 million international migrants are refugees. In some countries, migrants account for over 10% of the total population, whereas in many other countries, their numbers are, remain relatively small. The United States of America hosts the largest number of international migrants, but many migrants also work in Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and other countries in Western Asia. Germany and Russia are also important destination countries for migrants. Now, the countries from which migrants are coming from are India, Mexico, Russia, China and Bangladesh. Today, Syria is also a very important country of origin with millions of its citizens living as refugees in Jordan, Lebanon and Turkey. Second question. What are the most pressing issues facing migrants and refugees today? If migration is well managed, it can be a very positive experience for everyone. The income of migrant workers increases significantly. Migrants fill jobs in countries of destination. And the money they send home to their families allows children to visit a doctor and to go to school. If migration is not well managed, however, migration has many negative effects. For example, Irregular migration can be very dangerous. Each year, thousands of people die along migratory routes. Also, when migrants are not well integrated in their countries of destination, they face difficulties in finding a job, and many foreigners also face discrimination. Therefore, I think there are two very pressing issues. First, to ensure that migrants can enter, stay, and work legally. Second, to ensure that migrants are well integrated. The third question you asked me is, how is the United Nations addressing these issues? Well, the UN, was, the UN was created to allow countries to work together to solve problems that countries cannot solve on their own. Migration and refugees is a perfect example. Countries of origin and countries of destination need to work together. Let me give you three quick examples of what the UN is doing on migration. First, the General Assembly is currently negotiating a global agreement to promote migration that is safe, that is orderly and that is regular and to encourage countries to develop sound migration policies. 
Secondly, you are already familiar with the work of the UNHCR. That UN agency helps millions of refugees around the world, day in, day out. Third, the UN produces many statistics and studies on migration. Having good information on migration is very important for policymakers to make the right decisions. The last question you asked is why is it important for young people to learn about global migration and refugee issues? Well, it is important to learn about these global challenges because you can make a difference in your own way. By making sure that discussions and debates are based on facts. By explaining that refugees need our solidarity because they have no choice. And by helping and needy migrants in your own communities. So, in closing, I would like to thank you for inviting me to your summit. If you want to learn more about what the UN is doing on migration, you can visit us on www.unmigration.org. And I wish you all the best with your studies and your inquiries today.